If you don't watch Wheel of Fortune on a regular basis, at least everyone has seen Wheel of Fortune, correct? OK. It seems easy. It seems like a very easy there to sh But I'm sure when you're on TV, it's different, because there's pressure. And this uh, poor guy, this is what happened to this guy. 600. C. One C. There you go again. You have $1,600. Thank you. He's going for it. 600. K. No. Funny little game. $650 will make it 1000 And although you got the right answer, I'd rather see Kevin's play. <laughs> that's, but that's just me. All right, so that, I, I thought, how can you do that? And I wanted to find out. So please welcome Kevin Haas. So you got a sign that you would audition for the show. Yeah. What was your sign? First of all, I just also want to say, Ellen, this is such an honor. And my family thinks they're here of me right now just to be here talking with Dory. So I just wanted to say that. Oh, well. I have twins at home. They watch your movie on repeat. So it all worked Maybe. out. This is yes. great. Yes. yes. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you know, we watch Wheel of Fortune every night um, after we put the girls to bed. And it's just our, you know, our little escape. So we always wanted to go on the show. But then at work one day, I got Chinese food with a fortune cookie and said, the wheel of good fortune is finally turning in your direction. So like, ah, sign. <laughs> so I went ahead. I applied online. I got called to do auditions. And then, boom, I'm in LA next moment. I'm on the show. So. Did that make sense to you, Streetcar Naked Desire? <laughs> it did? Or now, did? now it doesn't. At the no, time, though, no. I was zeroed in on just that word, N-A blank E-D, and I chose one of the two options in the English dictionary. M or a K. And I did right. naked. Yeah. And your, your, your <laughs> wife was in the audience, because she must have been so proud. Yeah, she's <laughs> very proud. Yeah. There she is. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. Hi. Now, did you know Streetcar Named Desire? I didn't. OK, well, y'all are perfect for each other. Um, yeah. You're really good. He just takes more risks than you yeah. do. You think the same, but he, he takes more risks. OK, so we're going to give you a chance to redeem yourself. We're going to play a game. And it's really easy. You're okay. just going to fill in the blank. And if you know the word, <laughs> and they're pretty easy words, you're going to win something, OK? It's okay. called Catapult of Fortune. Let's go over here. So step on in there. You'll see there's uh, footprints. And you'll stand on there. And you'll put those goggles on. Don't ask questions why. OK. <laughs> All right. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to read a statement. And you just fill in the blank. And it's really, really simple. And if you get it right, uh, probably you'll win a prize. And if not, something will be catapulted at you, OK? Let's do this. All right, let's do this. Kevin. You didn't know the name of the play, A Streetcar Named Desire. Maybe you like musicals, so finish the name of this famous musical. The Phantom of the? Opera. That is right. <laughs> Woo! Good. That's great. OK. Because had you gotten that wrong, what you would have had in your face is pudding, Ooh. chocolate pudding. Nice. Tasty. Ooh, yeah. Chocolate pudding. All right, next one. You also didn't know the British phrase, sticky wicket. Finish the name of this popular British TV show, Downton. Abbey. That's right. Oh. Again. And that would have been tapioca pudding. So that would have mixed well with the chocolate pudding, yet you didn't have to worry about that. Nice. All right, you're doing great. One more to go. And this is not, this is all American. No British stuff here. Finish the name of the 13th Vice President of the United States, William. I don't know. <laughs> Don't get scared yet. I have to remove the, the thing first. OK. Well, it's everyone's favorite vice president. It's William Rufus Devane King. That's in case you are asked that again, OK? OK. All right, so stand still right there. And what it is is $5,000 from Shutterfly. <laughs> See, it pays to lose on my show.